Good afternoon and good evening to all of my beautiful people out there. This is your one and only Super Para, or also known as the Para Prince. And I have um, a topic that I'm going to talk about today. Um, and it's going to be uh, somewhat... Um, like personal uh that that uh I know not just myself um like it, it find it hard to talk about and have to admit just because um well I'm 34 so I'm a grown man um but yeah this topic is going to be about Basically, like, all right. I, everybody knows that um, I, I I already wear the pins. So, with that being said, um, basically, when you are given a new life, pretty much everything that is below your paralysis line um and it doesn't matter um what you are um i mean you you could be uh c c2 c3 or uh t8 um just uh um a lot of people uh you're just gonna have to get used to basically being changed like a baby and that was one of the biggest things that um kind of when it came to me in the hospital it was it was uh it was it was awkward at first no matter who it was but as um as the uh, as the days went by, I I was a little more comfortable with the older women, um, the older ladies uh, that have been there, um, or not have been there, but just older women. Um, uh, basic, you know, pretty much like the like the old old ladies. Um, I'm sorry for calling you calling y'all that. I just don't really know what else to call y'all. Y'all are more, you know, like a uh, mother or um, yeah or a grandmother type figure um, I was more comfortable with getting help from the the older women um, when it came to me having accidents because the first week um, after well actually it was 10 days um, because it was three days, and on the third day is when they decided to do my surgery. They did that on August 20th, and then um, I believe on the 21st, when I was in the recovery unit, I believe the gentleman came up then to measure me for my back brace, uh, my turtle shell, and um, so... I was bedridden for a good almost like 10 up to 10 12 days possibly I believe um due to not having a turtle shell um which is well um I will have to bring that out in another video <clears throat> but basically um it was it was just um, a front and a back to it, and it was just basically um, a big brace. Like uh, it went around my entire my entire waist. Uh, mine stopped um, probably right around my sternum um, is where mine came up to, and all the way around <clears throat> and. It went all the way down uh, up to about right here to where uh, it wasn't 
bit like where I could, yeah, it was pretty much at my waist or I leaned over because for the entire first six months of me having my back surgery, I had to wear that uh, back brace. I had to wear my shell um, every day uh, while my while the fusion took place. So because they had to uh, do a fusion at T8 and T11. But um, yeah, so I was you know I was bedridden for a good you know 12, 13 days, something like that. So I had to get used to the help because I could not. I, I was not able to um, transfer to a bedside commode, uh, so there was no privacy for me whatsoever, um, <clears throat> and that is just something that is really hard uh, to get used to, so that is one thing that you are going to have to, um, you're just going to have to get over it. Um, and slowly accept it that you are going to need help when you accidentally, um, uh, if your bowels move on you. And, um, that happened to me the first, you know, like 12, 13 days uh, after my accident. And so, um, there was nothing I could do, uh, except for just mash the button and wait for the nurse to come in, and, um, depending on what, what had happened and how big of a mess it is, um, usually it was two ladies that would come in, and, yeah, they would, uh, they would have to change me. They would basically, you know roll me from side to side while um, like carefully because of my back was so fragile at the time <clears throat> so um, yeah the, um, I'm, I'm so thankful those ladies were there um, Teresa Dev um, oh my gosh I forgot to I forgot how to pronounce her last name. Um, Stacy Sweeten. Um, I know you were married. I, I, I believe you are married now. So you're, but Stacy Sweeten, Dean Co Dean Cothern, or Dean Cothern. Um, and yeah, uh, those were three of the people that I remembered. And <laughs> the fourth one, now this is uh, a little funny. Um, the fourth one now, this girl. Now, okay, now my accident happened when I was 23. And so, you know, being, being, a, being a guy 23 years old, being in your young 20s, like I always told myself 23 was gonna be the year of my life. Like that was gonna be it, like, I was gonna, you know, just have the best time, um, and I was on my way to achieving that, um, goal, because I had already lived my dream of fishing, so I was, uh, making the income, <laughs> and, uh, I mean, um, I'm not gonna lie, um, it was not hard for me to be able to get a phone number or um, be able to find a date. Um, it was oh my god! It was so it was so wonderful back then. Um, but um, let me see. Yeah, just um, yeah. <laughs> All right now. Being that I was 23, there was this girl. Her name was Nicolette. And she, I remember she had uh, brunette hair. Um, she was uh, somewhat tall. Maybe 5'5", five, five, like maybe 5'6", five, 5'7". Five, um, just 
wow, I mean, she was gorgeous, just, I mean, like, just natural, just, just a beautiful, beautiful young, young lady, and I remember one day I, I, I pooped myself, and, um, I matched the bell, and I hadn't, I, I knew she was working. I knew I knew she worked, um, you know, morning morning uh, shifts and stuff. But I had no idea that she was going to be the one coming in. And as soon as she walked around and I seen her come around that corner, I just pretty much yelled. I was like, "No, get out! 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 out. No! 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 Get somebody else, please!" And she just turned and phew. Like, like a bat out of hell. <laughs> and so, um, that's, so she had, she had, um, a couple of other ladies come in. And I, I basically told them, you know, like, you know, that she is too beautiful. Like, I, I, I can't let her see, I can't let her see me. Like, no, 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 not like this. Like, you know, like a couple weeks ago, yeah. But, uh, no, not, not like, no, not like a newborn. And so after they, after they got done helping me get back, uh, to looking okay, um, I asked, uh, if they could call her in and she came in and I was just like Nicolette. I was just, I just wanted to apologize. I was just like, because I was just like, I was like, man, I said, let me guess how old you are. I said, you're what, maybe 20, 22, 23? And she was just like, yeah. She was like, I'm, I'm 22 uh, um, or 23 maybe. And I was just like, well, see, I was just like, I'm going to be 24 in October. And um, you are the type of girl who I would break my neck over, you know, to ask out, I would take you to dinner, a movie, and I would just want to get to know you, ask you, you know, your favorite colors, favorite songs, favorite movies, oh, I just stare at the stars all night, just, like, she was that type of girl, um, and... So, I even explained it to her that, you know, she was very attractive and that I knew in a million years, you know, like, in my condition now, that I would not even be able to get your number. And, but, but either way, yeah, that, that, that's, a, that's what I wanted to talk about was you are just going to have to get comfortable, um... Uh, knowing that you're going to need help and there's going to be times when um, you know you're not going to be able to make it to the toilet and you're going to have accidents and you're going to have to rely on your caregiver and so yeah that is one thing that was you know pretty personal um, and pretty awkward um, getting used to and to end this on um, <laughs> to end this on a happy note, um, to all you guys out there who have uh, been le uh, been leaving me comments, um, telling me that I'm handsome, uh, I, I just want to say thank you, and that uh, <laughs> hey, you know, um, to be honest with you. <laughs> I'm I'm flattered by it. Um, uh, I appreciate it. That means that means a lot. And uh, you know what? I want to say something to all you ladies out there who are just wondering, like, where are all the good guys at these days? All I keep dating are assholes. Well, you know what, ladies? The man of your dreams just might be looking for a guy like me. <laughs> I'm I'm just. I'm just kidding with you. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. But, uh, no. <laughs> so, I just wanted to say thank you. Uh, and, you know, that, that's that's fine with me. Uh, you can, like,
thank you for saying that. That means a lot. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to, uh, you know, bring that up. Just uh, in the dome, you know, something to uh, brighten everybody's day out there. Because, you know, I appreciate seeing those when, <laughs> when I wake up. Because I uh, sure as hell don't see them from any females anymore. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, but, yeah, um, I hope I was able to uh, help, help a little bit. Um, so... Uh, <laughs> And, well, until I see everybody in my next video, I just want everybody to know, um, each one of you are beautiful just the way you are. Don't let nobody else tell you any different. And, uh, if you don't hear it from anybody else today, you heard it from this fella. I love each and every one of you just the way you are. And until next time, this is the... Super Para, also known as the Para Prince. So, I will see all of you beautiful people in my next one.